Well, from snow and ice to thunderstorms and damaging winds, weather is something homeowners in the valley need to be prepared for year round. But do you know exactly what your insurance policy covers when it comes to weather damage? Not everything is covered. Storm Team meteorologist Alex George went straight to the experts to get answers for you. In a recent study released by Travelers Insurance, it found that weather incidents were the most common cause of damages, resulting in more than half of all claims. Now, if severe weather were to strike your home, would you be covered under your homeowner's policy? Weather-related claims are one of the most prevalent situations that we have to deal with. If your neighbor's tree falls and hits your house during a windstorm, does your homeowner's policy cover it? Would you be covered if your basement is flooded with water? Holly Carpenter, the owner of Casmer Insurance Agency in Canfield, says for many situations, it just depends. Damage from flooding is excluded from standard homeowner's insurance, but it can be purchased through a separate policy. But there is a difference between flooding and water backup. Water backup of sewers and drains is a little different in that it's actually water that comes through the pipes of your home. For example, in your basement, if the sewer backs up from the street, or the water, your sump pump goes out. Coverage for water backup does not come with most policies, but many insurance providers offer it as an endorsement or an extra. Water backup of sewers and drains is something that most people want to carry on their policy um, because you just never know. And when it does happen, it's a big claim. Standard homeowners insurance does not cover earthquake damage, but it can be added as an endorsement. What about property damage from high winds, hail, or tornadoes? Holly says homeowners and renters insurance cover all of those things. No endorsement needed. Lightning struck that tree, knocked off a big branch, and it came down and hit your fence or your, your roof. Then your policy needs to take care of it. But if it's a dead tree, then there's a whole different situation. If the tree was rotting and needed to be taken down, then you'll likely have to pay for it out of pocket. So how can you tell if you have a dead tree on your property? Dan Yoho from the Davy Tree Company says the first place to look is at the trunk of the tree. Do you see any mushrooms growing? Is there any peeling bark or bare branches? These could all be a sign of decline. And dead trees can be a costly problem to a homeowner. That dead tree can uh, come down very quickly. It can, uh, through a wind gust, uh, a heavy rain. If your home is damaged in a storm, Holly says the first thing to do is make sure everyone is safe and then pull out your smartphone to document as much as possible. Now, Holly says if you have any specific questions regarding coverage and limitations, to consult with your insurance company or agent. Alex George, 27 First News.